Greetings. One thing we're going to talk about in the podcast is how do we value the options we're trading? Are they overvalued or undervalued? Now, this doesn't relate to anything we do, but let's look at a fun example from the last couple of weeks. If you see a meme stock going crazy like GameStop or um, an actual good business like NVIDIA, is there a way to profit off the options? Let's take a look at that. Take a look. If you're going to trade uh, trade options on an asset, in this case, Bitcoin, which we trade all the time, the first thing you have to calculate is how much did it move around? How much did the price move around over the last year? So my coworker pro provided this chart for me, which calculates the daily price of Bitcoin over the last 365 days. Then in the next column, column D here, I hope you can see that okay, it calculates uh, basically how much it would move up or down on a percentage basis. So then let's go over to my column um, G2, Golf 2, and I, all I did was use a variance function in Excel. I go all the way down to col uh, sorry, row 367, where Bitcoin data ends. Then you have to find the square root. Then remember, trading days are 365, because Bitcoin trades all the time, um, the square root of 365, which you need, is 19. So therefore, you get the volatility, the realized volatility, over the last year by multiplying the square root by the standard deviation, uh, the, the square root of the variance. And that gets you 46%. So what is that, or sorry, 47%. What does that tell you? Well, if you're pursuing a strategy like covered calls, and um, like it's showing an implied volatility of 70%, definitely that's a good trade. Buy the Bitcoin, sell the call if you, if you like that asset, because most likely it's overpriced. You're going to get the money. It's going to uh, expire worthless and you're not sacrificing anything by doing that. And because it's a covered call, if it starts moving up, you won't be bankrupted. Um, now, um, if you, let's say it's only 30%, then that um, that's an undervalued option. You probably don't want to sell it. Um, anyway, so that's how you figure out whether the option is priced right. Let's look tomorrow what you can do with that information. And remember, like and subscribe.